foods that I will never eat again as a food science major with a master's in agriculture. Cheerios are known to have really high glyphosate residues because they are made using oats, which are one of the most common genetically modified crops. And if you're eating GMOs, you are eating glyphosate. glyphosate First off, oats are not GMO. Even if they were, that's not a bad thing. Glyphosate is approved for dry down of oats, even though it is very rarely used. Some activist groups have tested products like Cheerios, and they have found parts per billion levels of glyphosate residues in some foods. This is not peer-reviewed data, but even if we were to take this data and assume it's correct, you would have to eat hundreds to thousands of servings of Cheerios a day for an extended period of time for the glyphosate to potentially have a negative effect. I have a recent video on the glyphosate and cancer claims and going through all of the evidence and misconceptions, which there are a lot of, a lot of people are confusing occupational exposure with dietary exposure, and there's so much evidence on this compound at this point that it is a global scientific consensus that parts per billion levels of residues in foods are not causing cancer. The assertion that all GMOs will contain glyphosate residues is also not true. Um, glyphosate tolerance is one of many traits that can be selected for when creating a GMO, and so this is just a fundamental misunderstanding of what GMOs are. These are often not even made with real potatoes. They contain inflammatory vegetable oil. All right, I'm gonna stop you right there because vegetable oils are not inflammatory. I've been over this many, many times. Also, these are made with real potatoes. They are just dehydrated potatoes, which means that the water has been taken out. Somebody that understands food science should understand that dehydration is one of the oldest preservation methods, and this makes this product more shelf stable than a potato. Please stop demonizing more accessible, less expensive foods just because you don't like it, you don't prefer it, or you don't buy it. Some people might not have access to fresh potatoes or the ability to mash potatoes or the time to mash them. Some people might just prefer this because it is more convenient. Yay for choices. Whatever your reason for buying this, it doesn't matter. Uh, additional ingredients or preservatives aren't inherently a bad thing and preservatives help to keep foods safer for longer. So many chemicals, additives, preservatives, and powdered chicken. All right, everything we eat is made up of chemicals, so just saying chemicals, additives, preservatives, and implying that they are bad just doesn't make any sense. Also, powdered chicken is dehydrated chicken. Once again, this is a preservation method where water is removed to make a more shelf-stable product. This is a low-cost item that you can add some protein, some vegetables to for an easy, quick meal. Again, stop demonizing more accessible, less expensive foods. That if they are saying things like fat free, reduced fat, something that's being removed from the product, it's being replaced with something else that is likely not any better for you than the original ingredient. If the fat has been reduced from a product, that doesn't always mean that it has been replaced with something else. This label is actually comparing the fat to the leading potato chip brand, so this isn't even saying that fat was taken out, it's comparing it to a different snack. That argument is neither here nor there because it doesn't apply to this product or label.